Steve has declined my offer to uh, be the narrator for this room, so I'm going to have to do this all by myself. It's going to have to be a voice without a face, but anyway, this is the cozy room. We have the air conditioning going, so I keep the door closed. Uh, there's two windows. I go to the outside, yep, yeah, to the front. And there's the cozy room, and there's mail on the floor. This is the hallway. A few little flowers by the front door. That's into the third room, which you just saw with the dogs. But I'll give you a better quick shot of it. Put the light on, put the little pool table and the piano. That fun stuff in the pink pond, which you're probably going to be discussing. But outside is a pretty tree. Stephanie's maple. There's the pony. And I'll pack the doors into the dining room. Oh, so they got into the trash. <laughs> so embarrassed. Oh, it looks like the dog got into the kiddos bar that were thrown the box that was thrown into the trash can. This is the beautiful dining room. Look at the door that goes outside. My mom and I put up the curtain. And Steve opened this fireplace. Cinder wants to be in the video. Say hi, Cinder. Say hi. You could girl. Here's the fireplace that he opened and all this copperware. Plates and stuff like that. Um, this is what I call the four way stop sign. Because standing in the kitchen, there's one door, two doors, three doors, four doors. This is like a little teeny weird hallway that's so bizarre. So anyway, this part of the house is going to be reworked. I'll show you that later. This is the hideous community I never back in that has lovely pipes and picky stuff, but we're working on it. It's a nice window that you can see outside when you're trying to pee. Everybody on the patio is cracking up looking at you. But anyway, these are the back stairs that Mr. Steve opened, and we use them every single day. Many, many times a day. They're usually the only stairs that we use except for Tinder has to go up the other ones which I'll show you. We'll finish up this floor. Down there then. Into the bedroom, which is the mudroom. It has my fun horse stuff on it right now. Clean the walls and the school bench. Chairs, dog toys. Sponge, I don't know why the sponge. Again, the dog gets into everything. There's one more room on this floor. So, I'll show you the cellar. It's going to be a wine cellar. It's really scary. But the way you guys are looking at this. That's my stomach growling. I'll take you down and show you the cellar. It's kind of damp down here. Kind of freaky. Okay. All right, you see. All right, okay, go. The laundry room is the green room, which is where right now we're working on projects. This would eventually be the kitchen. Off to the green house. This is really fun. There's Mr. C reading the paper. Say hi, honey. Hi, Pam. And, and Peter. And Peter. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> We pick the other outside and then we go up here. That gate and the dog's barking at totally nothing. Okay. And funny looking dogs looking at you. Stop it. Seriously, try the house. The infamous try the house view that you've seen many, many times. And the bells. Put out. And I'm going to take you back in the house. We're back at the front door. And as you come in the front door, this is usually what you see. There's the hallway back to the red room, the mud room. There's the cozy room. There's the table room. And here's our clock of our house we had framed. It's hard to see because of the lighting. But. And then there's some pictures of some other historic properties here in town. And as we go up the stairs, You'll see this is the lovely hallway that um, Steve put around the wallpaper. And I really need to get up on ladders to play with that mess. 
so when we had it freshly painted, which I think was one of the smarter moves that we ever made. Up the stairs, if you I can give you a little bit of history, this room and the cozy room are the two first, or we believe are the two first rooms in the house. And then this hallway and this room over here was added later. So the stairway probably originally came up and went this way only. Then they later added this little stairway and a little hall window. I'll show that in a minute. Come up these stairs into one of the older rooms of the house. And embarrassingly enough, Cinder's been in this room too. So embarrassed. And she likes to read, as you can see. She likes to take the book and chew on it. And for some reason, this is her favorite book to chew on. I don't know why. I can't even get it. She picks the titles as she sees them. I don't know. But this is not the first time she's been after that book. This is the first room that we redid. It was a god awful pink. It's really hard to see, but Steve and I did all the uh, plaster work in here painting, sanding, you name it, we did it all. These ceiling fans and these next couple of rooms that you're going to see are going to come out and lights will be replaced with ceiling fans and the fan holes will be blocked up with plaster. So this is a little bedroom. It's really nice. It's what we think is one of the original fireplaces. You see the interesting part in the boxes, but this is a kind of a neat thing to see. Just in the little short shelves. They have like no place to hang anything. Let me put you in here to where the uh, you really can't see it. I was trying to show you where the floor meets the back of the wall. Anyway, so that's that. And our bathers. And another strange closet. We call this the hat closet because it's just so odd. It's only about this wide. It's all the wider the closet is. So, you know, if I want to get in there, I could probably hide and that would be about it. Um, right now our master bedroom. That's going to change. Um, I'll show you the plans, but for now, this is where we live. And this is our Jean de Cassier bed. We got the restoration. And then we, the furniture was a long story. We didn't want to buy the furniture. We really liked it, but it was just too expensive. Um, luckily, the previous owners put in closets. So we have nice size closets. There's my chase lounge that I absolutely adore. And pretty much it for this room. It's taking us to like, close the drawers before I do the taping. We're going to hang this mirror someday. And this is another one of those odd shaped closets, but it's a disaster. We won't go in there. There's the back stairs that you saw before. Go down, Cinder, show them how it works. Good girl. And just the next room, which is right next door to our room, down the long blue hallway is this blue room. This is an interesting room. This will probably be our room. It's not as big, but I'll show you the plan. And the plan is to make this room in here the big closet slash bathroom. And you'll see my bathroom in just a minute, and you'll see why we want to make it bigger. And my computer desk will go away. All this stuff in here is probably going to go away, but, uh, except my computer, of course. Oh, here's another interesting feature. These little alcove things, I don't know what they are. I'm trying to figure what it is, but it's attached to the fireplace in the blue room. Strange. That's down the long hallway. I'll go to my bathroom first, which is a total disaster. Disaster. So here's my tub. It's going to be saved, and we'll make it look better. And it's, we're going to have a built-in shower, so we won't need that shower curtain hanging like that. 
uh, it's pretty, pretty in rough shape. I tore down all the wallpaper that was, uh, had a sample of tree, but it was pretty much like this. It was disgusting. This stuff is going to come off the walls. It's not real. It's disgusting. Um, so what will happen is the wall that, that cabinet's on will probably be a doorway through there, and that'll go into the other room. That'll be a nice big bathroom. That is the attic stairwell. But I'll give you a little peek. It's hot up there, so it won't go up. There's the attic, and it's really nice up there. It's hot. It needs to be a little bit uh, finished so we can get up there and move around and do things, but it's all, all woodwork. So here's the long hallway again. There's our bedroom door. Here is the rear room. This is the strangest room you'll ever see. I have no idea what happened here, but that is an outside window. That was a low bearing wall, and they left the window when they built the room. This floor, so I got by, and I'll explain that to you. There's two windows in here, actually three. There's one in the closet. I don't get it. The walls are around. You can see the roof line up there. It's just bizarre. It's a very small, odd shaped room with a big closet. So here's the rear room. That's it, right there. So that's pretty much it. And Got one major room, which is the kitchen, and you'll see from the pictures what a difference we made when we painted. The room is yellow, and we painted it kind of a cool beige. And we did the cabinets. I know they don't look like anything spectacular, but when you look at the before pictures, huh, what a difference. So this is our tiny little kitchen. Out the back door into the four-way stop sign. And this is our neat little pantry that was a window, because this was an outside wall at one time, so this little pantry.